How's the move been for you? Yeah, it's been good, yeah. Enjoying it. Um, it's good just to be around in, in and around the first team, get that experience and, um, yeah, but I'm enjoying my time here so far. Good to get some game time the weekend. Yeah, yeah, it was good. Um, I think overall it was a disappointing result for us. I think we should be winning them sorts of games, but uh, I thought the team did really well to come back. I thought the subs, um, like Connor, Luca, uh, Mika, made a massive impact. So, you know, to get to get a draw in the end, I thought it was it was good in the end. In terms of your development of your career, how how do you see this move? Um, well. I thought I thought in, in the summer I needed to get on loan to get some first team games, but I think in the end I just need some experience being in around the first team, which which I am training every day, getting better, learning new things. So I think it's good for my development at the end of the day. What do you make of the league that you're in? The league, how do you feel? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's a really competitive league, um, really physical, but yeah, again, it's it's good for my development. Um, that as aspect of the game, the physicality, it's something that it's not really there in the under 21s. So that side of the game, I think it will make me better as a player. Um, but yeah, I'm learning new things every day, um, even off the pitch. Just how the first team, how, what they do, how they prepare for games. It's it's good though. It's a good learning curve for me. Is that the challenge for any player coming in to try and build game time, get more game time? Yeah, of course. It's it's what you need as a young lad. Um, but it'll, it'll make you better at the end of the day, um, playing games, games. Um, so, yeah, I think the more the more I can play, the more I get better. What does it do for your development off the pitch? You know, you talk about the playing aspect of it, but just as a, a person, you know, moving away and, and yeah. having that move to a different country, does that sort of help mature you as a, as a person as well? Yeah, of course, definitely. I mean, being so young and moving away from home, um, I think it, it makes you into a man really, you know. Um, obviously you have your down, down time after football, but it's just always thinking positive, you know. Um, missing home sometimes, but you know, I'm here for a reason and I'm here to play football at the end of the day. And that's the, the biggest thing, if you feel you've already had those big developments over this short space of time, there's still plenty more time to go in your development and your time to get it Yeah, of course, yeah, obviously. I'm not playing at the minute, but um, you know, coming on off the bench, which you know, it's, it's still good for my development, you know, I'm still trying to make an impact when I come on for the team. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm sure, I'll, I'm sure I'll get my chances, just got to stay positive and just keep going, really. What's been the biggest difference between the, the first team environment and the under-21s? Uh, like I said before, I think I think it's a physicality, really. Um, you know, I'm just learning, the, it's a men's game, isn't it? So I'm just learning like, different aspects on, on the pitch, off the pitch, so I'd, I'd say physicality, really. There's obviously a few of you in the same boat, I mean, I'm because we've not been here that, off, that much, but um, obviously Brody as well coming up, young guys coming yeah. up, you know, to Scotland on loan, has that helped as well that there's a few of you you can talk to? You know. Yeah, of course, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd use them for information or ask them what, what they do on and off the pitch, just so I can get better really and just, you know, just keep going. And I suppose fans kind of don't see the side of it as well, that like you are moving away from home, a young guy come up, yeah. is that? Challenge being free. What uh, moving away from home? Yeah, yeah. Just um, no, to be fair, I've 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 enjoyed it. You know, my family's been coming up and down, so no, I've I've actually really enjoyed it. It's a good good new experience to learn. Um, so in the future, when I do move away again, I'll be used to it again. Has anything in Scotland surprised you? Yeah. <laughs> um, no, not really. Just I'm still getting used to the accent. To be honest, <laughs> it's hard to understand. But no, nah, I'm loving it up here. What have you made of the, of the level? Because I know down in England, you know, maybe some of your, your Blackburn teammates will look down on Scottish football, but oh, yeah. you can see that there are, there are some top players. Yeah, it's really underrated up here, like, there's really good quality up here. Um, obviously, you've got your Celtics and your Rangers that are obviously really good, but even like the other teams, like, really good, really good level. Um, but yeah, at the end of the day, it's a really good experience for me.